everyone, Mango7 Roll here. How we doing today? Uh, welcome to another legendary banner prediction thread. Yay! Uh, you guys seem to really like these. I always get asked, what do you think is going to be on X? What do you think is coming? Who do you think is going to be on the red section? Blah, 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 blah. So I figure, why not uh, do another one of these since you guys like it so much and you keep asking. Uh, so first off, we're actually going to take a look at the previous legendary banner and my previous guesses and kind of see how I fared. Uh, apparently I did not do too well. Um, we'll see if we got at least 50% right. Um, anyway, let's start off here with the colorless. Of course we get uh, a check mark right here. I'll count that as a check mark. That is our legendary colorless dragon. We guessed that was coming. We didn't know who, um, but we did guess that was coming. We also guessed Lin was coming for sure. I'm so proud of that. Uh, nobody believed me and every time I said Lin was coming on the banner, they're like, no, you're wrong. She's already been on one. And I'm like, well, there's a rotation. There's been one brave each time, so next time there's going to be another brave. Uh, turns out I was half wrong there, as there was a second brave uh, unit on this banner, but I'm still taking that as a right. Uh, we also have Sakura there. So we were three for three on the color list. Uh, super stoked about that. That's probably the best I'll ever do for a color. Uh, who's next here? We also need to give ourselves check marks for the legendary heroes. That's a given, but we'll take it anyway. Um, blue had loot, and it also had Fjorm and Brave Lucina, so we failed miserably on these ones. Yeah, you you did not go well, and you did not go well. Green, we had Summer Elise and Summer Tiki, so this is one I really screwed up. Um, pretty much everybody guessed this but me. I totally didn't count right when I was doing this, and I was missing another... Um, seasonal hero, which was obviously going to be Summer Elise, so my bad on that one. And as for Red, we completely missed the mark. There was Zelgius and Noe, and we guessed Luke and Tiki. I thought they were going to try to use up some of their um, lesser wanted units, specifically this Luke right here. Uh, and because of that sword, I thought we were going to get uh, Dragonstone instead. Turns out I was wrong there. Um, so we ended up with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 out of 12 predictions. So hopefully uh, this one can be a little better than that. Let's get on to this month's guys. Okay, guys, let's take a look at these units here. I think I'm going to be wrong on a lot of these. Hopefully not. I have a lot of weird reasonings, um, and I hope they come true. But uh, if they don't, I'll look stupid. And if they do, I'll look like a genius. So let's get at it here. Um, the first one is actually the one I'm most uncertain about. And this is Brave Ike. So they've done uh, a thing with previous legendary banners where every single one has had one brave unit on it, uh, except for the last one where they put two. Uh, two was really unexpected to me. Uh, I knew they were going to put Brave Lynn on it. It just made so much sense. Um, but I really wasn't expecting uh, Brave Lucina, I think, to be on it. So this leads me to believe um, one of two things they have planned. One, they're going to put bro both Brave Ikes on, or both Brave uh, units remaining, Brave Ike and Brave Roy, on this banner. Um, and then by this time next month, they will have CYL2 released, and then one of those units will be on the next banner, and then they'll continue the rotation from there. Um, two, they will have one Brave Ike on this banner, Brave Roy on the next banner um, next month, and then the month after CYL2 will be released. Um, both of those seem kind of unlikely, but it's the only reason for them uh, to put two on the last one, uh, uh, just to make it line up for their, their patterns, you know? Um, no idea, but that's my guess. I feel like next month is way too early for CYL2, but at the same time, it makes sense uh, going by their pattern, so I think Brave Ike is going to be on here. But at the same time, we do know that um, we're getting a new green legendary hero, and it doesn't make sense to put Brave Ike with that legendary hero. Uh, people are already going to be pulling for the legendary hero, and Bike is something, some somebody you put on a banner to make people pull for him because they want their steady breath. Uh, so if there's only one Brave unit on this banner, I think it will be Brave Roy instead of Brave Ike. But if there's two, um, obviously they'll both be there. Uh, so next up, I think we're going to get our boy Halloween Henry. I think he's uh, one of those fan favorites a lot of people like, but nobody really uses. I don't see him too much. Uh, he's also really good for merges, and he fits the seasonal um, that should kind of be in this area right now. Uh, not much else to say about him. I do think he will be here, and I think he fits, and I think he's a perfect unit to put beside. Uh, whatever legendary unit is coming next. Uh, as for that unit, let's talk about that. I have no idea. Zero clue. Absolutely zero percent clue which legendary might come next. Uh, there's a lot of talk about a green um, archer, green bow user, which is a possibility. I personally think it's going to be um, uh, a new unit we either don't know about or is from Fire Emblem Heroes. So, for example, like a legendary Anna, um, a legendary um, 
somebody from the story. I'm not sure, but I don't think it's going to be a Fire Emblem unit. I think it's going to be a Fire Emblem Heroes unit. Maybe we'll get Fallen Guntra? Oh my god, please no. Uh, let's not even bring that up. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. So, Winter Tharja. Another one that's a super powerhouse, and I think uh, since people aren't going to be focused on red, they want something to focus people on red as well. This is the way to do it. Tharja is um, insane. I think people are not pulling for Vike as much anymore. So this gets people into red. It also introduces the next set of uh, seasonal heroes coming out. And we also needed one more se seasonal to, to round out this banner. So it just kind of makes sense there. Uh, it's kind of weird having two armored mages on um, one legendary banner, but it just kind of lined up that way. I can't wait um, to get more of her, uh, not to mention her fodder. Everybody wants her fodder right now too. Uh, she's just really hot right now. Um, Oh, that sounded bad. She's she's a really desired unit right now, uh, so I, I think she'll be in here too. Next up, behind him, her, we have the Gimme, we have the Vike there. Uh, he's behind her because he's unimportant at this point. Uh, I don't think people are super stoked about him. Uh, his fodder's okay, but Vike is generally better, I find, most of the time. So we know he's gonna be there. And as we talked about earlier, we have Brave Roy as well. I do think he will be 100%-ish on this banner, um, hopefully alongside Bike. Uh, but if not, I think he'll be on the next banner. Um, so one of those two will be on this one, and then uh, the one remaining will be on the other. Um, I think he also balances out the Tharja there. Uh, this way we have two swords instead of three swords in there. Uh, I think red is going to be pretty solid with just Tharja. That's all you really need to make red good, is just throw Tharja in there. So next up, we have Lind. Um, I haven't given up on her. I know IS has, but I haven't. She's got to pop up here sometime, right? I just put her on the Legendary Banner Prediction every single month, and eventually I'm going to get this one right. Um, I, I just don't even know what to say. Like, how has it been so long, like a year without seeing her on a banner? Like, at least demote her or something? Like, it just seems so weird, the position they've put Lind on, and uh, I really hope she gets her time to shine again soon. Uh, she's nowhere near as good as she was before, I don't think, especially since you don't have merges of her as accessible. But uh, still a fantastic unit and still a lot of people want her. I don't think she's going to pull too many people into blue, uh, outside of the fact that she hasn't been on the banner for a year. We also have hiding behind her is our boy Shigure. I thought he was going to be on the last one, but this time it's fitting to have him on here to, pe to have people uh, who want to have that Shigure emblem be able to get both of them. And it also fits the seasonal thing. Uh, I like having a dancer at least uh, one per banner. That way uh, newer players can try to get an extra dancer as well. Um, this does put two blue tomes on it, which is not the best. Uh, not ideal situation, but it is what it is. And sometimes you kind of have to get awkward colors like that. And finally, on the back, we have another gimme in Lefram. Um, My most disappointing legendary hero yet, just as a side note, I really wish... His base kit worked out a little better. I, I love the idea of his base kit, but it just doesn't seem to work too well for me. Uh, maybe if I merged him higher, it would be a thing. Uh, so let's go on to the next one. And that is Colorless. And we have Mist. Speaking of Mist, I am starting my Path of Radiance playthrough today. Probably by the time this video is up, uh, I'm going to be starting streaming it on Twitch. This is a heads up. The link's in the description below. I do think she's going to be in here. They've uh, neglected to put her on a, um, a legendary banner for so long, and I think now's a really good time. People have realized how good female Grima is, especially with all the rival domains, all the Grand Conquests. I think a lot of uh, whales really want to really whale for Grima at this point because of how insane she is. Um, and because of that, people are already pulling Colas. Nobody really super wants Miss. I mean, people do, but she's nothing that super stands out. Uh, so I think she's a good shoe-in for this color. We also have Jacob, and I think this is what is going to pull people into this banner as well. Jacob's one of those units that is bonkers. Like, one of the best units in the game um, at plus 10, and uh, holy hell is he good. He also needs a lot of um, fodder, speaking of fodder over there. Uh, so I think this is a good pair to have them both in here. I think he's for sure going to be on this banner no matter what. I can't see any other seasonal being there instead. And I know they do need to go through seasonals unless they change their plans and change how they design these banners. Uh, so obviously the last one on this banner, she, she takes up so much space there, is going to be the Robin. 
um, and this is what I think the whole banner will look like. So uh, we'll see how much I get of this right and how much I get wrong. Uh, I think I'll get... My guess is I'm going to get 8 out of 12 for this banner. I'm going to start doing that from now on. Try to guess how close I am and, and see if I can ever do better than my, uh, my, my guess was. So there you go, guys. That's my uh, guess for today, for this month. What do you think? Uh, let me know in the description below how many you think I got right, how many you think I got wrong, what you think the banner is going to look like, and why I'm an idiot for thinking CYL2 could possibly come out in the next uh, month or two. Um, as for what I would do on this banner, I would pull a lot on Colorless. I have to feel like I would pull almost all of my orbs on Colorless. I would try to 100% get a Robin. Um, I, I feel like I really want her as a unit. And I don't mind as many Jacob merges as possible. Uh, in the long run, I feel like uh, he's going to be one of my best units. And if I get more merges on him, I'm more likely to give him something like Bold Fighter. Uh, so I would definitely go real hard on Cullis, I would feel. And I would also um, probably pull some green for the new legendary hero for some steady breaths and for some head remerges. I'd skip red and I would absolutely skip blue. Um, another thing to note too is I think this legendary banner is going to be one of the better ones. Uh, I think it's going to be alongside another really insane banner, so I think they want to try to drain our orbs with this banner, which is why I put things like Jacob in here, uh, why I put things like Tharja, why I put Bike with the green one, just because I feel like uh, this is their drain banner. This is where the banner looks so good they want people to spend their orbs on it. Uh, so anyway, have a wonderful day everybody. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. As always, I can't express how much that helps me out and I'll see you guys later. Bye now.